What is going on YouTube today? I got myself a poutine. This one was suggested to me by someone. I asked someone, not like in the comments or whatever. I'm like, what should I get to eat? And they're just like, a poutine. So I'm just like, okay. Yeah, actually that makes sense. Uh, I'll make it for a video. Little do they know, dun dun dun. So I just got Harvey's. Harvey's has a really good poutine, a really massive poutine, like a massive poutine here, buffalo chicken. I got it on the channel before, I think. I think I just got a small version of it, but this time I got the big version of it, um, which looks like it has a lot less chicken in it than the regular version did, but look at that. Looking pretty good, honestly. It doesn't look too bad. It looks very nice and together. But since we got this bowl, we're gonna go ahead and just plop it. I'll be back when I'm done plopping it. All right, got it here. Uh, good thing I we got the picture and I showed you guys what it looked like because now it's like all over the place. So we're getting into here. Before we get started, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment down below if anything trying to talk about. Down to that, as always, check out timestamps down below. Go first bite. It's good the fries aren't cold, thank God. You know what this tastes like? This literally tastes like, I know if I mentioned it before, last time I had it, like eight, nine months ago. This kind of tastes like the poutine you get at Wonderland. That's kind of what it tastes like here. Let's have with the buffalo chicken. Yeah, it does. If you just have the fries like this without the sauce or the cheese, or even with the cheese, sorry. It tastes like a Wonderland poutine. I know it's a very specific Reference that maybe like a couple of people who watch this video will know, but it's kind of what it tastes like. Not too bad. But anyways, how's your guys' day today? My day was not too bad, honestly. I was working out this poutine, but I noticed my car's leaking. I guess it's leaking gas, it smells like gas. Like, I'll be driving. I'll be like, hmm, it smells like gas. And then I stop. I'll get out, look under my car, and like, under the car, under the driver's side, it's just like, like just drops of, I'm assuming gas. Cause that's what it sounds like. And then, and sometimes when I turn on the car, sometimes I'll just be, like this sitting here for like three seconds, watching it like turn over until it finally turns on. I don't know, it's an alternator problem or something, but. I always come to you guys with my car problems, it's so sad. Just watch one day, I won't, I'll get a nicer car <laughs> and I won't have to come to you guys for this problem, but yeah, no. Tragic, but what are you gonna do? Also, a little bit of mukbang news. Um, a pretty interesting. I also learned it's called mukbang. I called it. I I called it mukbang. I still call it mukbang. I don't know. That sounds more correct to me. Mukbang, but whatever. In other news, yeah. Did you guys see what happened with not what happened, but what's going on with Nico Cotto Avocado? So I never watched his videos. I think I maybe sat through one of his videos years ago when I first learned it doing this as a thing. I'm like, okay, like this isn't very interesting to me. But from what I know about him is that he's like a YouTuber, obviously. And you know, I'm skinny. It's a really, really big, like massive, like over 300 pounds is what it seems like, right? And he didn't do it in like a short period of time, I guess, but for how skinny he was, how big he was, I guess maybe it was, I think it was over the span of like, I don't know, six years or something like that. And I'll tell you why I say six years in a second, even though he's been doing it for like eight years, technically. Well, basically, he came back after apparently not posting for like seven months. And he's super skinny again. We were just like, oh, what happened? And then with the video where he's super skinny, he's talking about like, he's, he's being very cryptic, kind of, talking about how this is like a social experiment and it was great watching it and seeing how everyone react and how people consume and stuff like that. He's always two steps ahead.
you can tell this guy's really into like cinema and like writing and stuff because it definitely seemed like a villain monologue. And also he kept doing the Kubrick stare. Like you guys know the Kubrick stare where like your head is like down and then you like look up and you kind of look like a little menacing type thing. Fun fact, he died on my birthday. Crazy. Oh, maybe I, oh no, I was gonna say maybe I reincarnated him, but he died in like 1995 and I was born in 1994, but. Yeah, he's doing that kind of cringe to watch, honestly. Maybe when I was like younger, it'd be cooler to watch, but it was pretty hard for me. It was a hard watch for me to sit through, to be going honest with you, just to two steps ahead. So riveting. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, come on now. Say it normally. But as a cringe as it may be, very interesting. Very, very interesting. And then it just cuts to him with his like parrot that he used to have that he said he ate. And he was making a video, like regular eating like noodles. And that was very interesting to me. But I'm not too surprised. Not saying that I predict that he'd lose his weight, but again, I don't follow him, but I do remember a couple years ago, there was another video of him and he was like sitting down and he was like talking, but he was saying basically the same thing he's saying now about being two steps ahead and how people will consume and he'll continue to do a social experiment because people will continue to consume. And he was like fat in this video, right? Or he was like bigger in this video too. When I seen it a couple of years ago, I, I couldn't find it on YouTube. I found it on Reddit again because I seen it and then it disappeared. I'm like, where the hell did this video go? And then I checked again, it was on Reddit and I'm like, okay. So he's definitely like thinking of something, definitely a smart guy. But there's like some theories about it. People are saying that like, essentially, this video was posted beforehand because the parrot's still there. The people are like, what are the likelihood the parrot's still being alive? And he went from like being really fat to really skinny with like no loose skin or anything like that because he was like massive. Right, because in the video, basically what's understood is that he created videos, like he backlogged videos for like two years. He got like really big and then he backlogged videos for two years and just posted them for two years while losing weight in those two years. He was just posting old videos. It wasn't him in real, real time. And then he like ran out of videos, which is why like he didn't post for like seven months. I'm talking about this video, I'm like, maybe a video before it, right? So, That's what people were saying, but I'm watching it and I kind of agree with it a little bit, but the, the video when he's skinnier might be a pre-recorded video and that he planned it all ahead of time. Not even because of the parrot, but just because of like, I don't know, just something feels like, I don't know. Pre-planned? I mean, the whole thing's pre-planned, but the video itself, because because I'm eating food, in the video of him eating food, there's like no mention of that previous monologue. But here's why I'm like, I'm like 90% sure he lost the weight. I'm only believing like 10% because at the end of that video, I didn't watch the whole thing. I skipped to the end because I want to see if he'd say anything else about it. He was basically like, oh, he wants to bring back like how mukbang used to be and stuff like that. So I'm just like, oh. I was kind of like referencing it, I guess. I don't know, but This riveting stuff really, definitely interesting. And then he also made a second channel. Well, he had a second channel already and he posted to it and he said that's where he's gonna post more, which confused to me. Why do people have a second channel where they'll post more of the same stuff? Like I understand if you have a second channel that's posting like different content, but posting the same stuff kind of makes no sense to me, but. Maybe it's different stuff and I don't know about it. Because again, I don't watch them. I'm more of like how I imagine you guys are. You want to watch someone who's just like eating regularly, not like massive amounts of food, and just like killing the whole thing. I see people eat massive amounts of food and killing the whole thing. It makes me scared. The only time I watch that is like, if it's like speed eaters, because that's impressive. But like, either way, you know. Well, by here. With that being said, that was Harvey's Buffalo Chicken Poutine. Really good, I'll probably give it like a seven and a half out of 10. That was really good. It was hot, the gravy tasted nice, the chicken was nice. Had a little crunch to it too, even though it was like doused in sauce. Not really a kick, but it had a nice flavor because buffalo sauce, so. With that being said, remember to like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and then try and talk about.
Let's down to this. I'll check out those chess videos and the side. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about the whole Nico Cotto avocado situation. If anyone here who's watching this video really follows him and knows more about it, please leave a comment because I'd love to know because it's interesting to me, but I don't want to like dive deep into it because like his videos never interest in me. So like some YouTubers I'll like not watch for a while or I'll watch and then I'll not watch for a while and I'll come back and they'll be doing like some something else. And it's also interesting to me. Like for example, like I used to love watching Young Don the Sauce God, like his animation stuff. And I hadn't watched him in like five years or something like that or four years maybe. I don't know. No, it had to have been before COVID. And then I come back and I see he's like a Christian YouTuber, which is like, okay, good for him. But it's like a complete 180 from like what he used to do. So it's also it's super interesting to see. But anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. That was Harvey's Buffalo Chicken Poutine, seven out of ten, first review and peace.